days, amen? To 
Zion's heights to praise and glorify unified and oh how we love you oh how we praise you oh how we
Isn't he good? It's all about him today. It's all about him. We give you glory. We give you glory. Because there's none like you. Oh, oh, oh. We give you the praise. Oh, Lord. We love you. We love you. We honor you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you today, oh God. There's none like you. Oh, oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. My, 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 my Lord. Oh, God. We need you today, God. We need you today, oh God. We look to you, Lord. You're the author and the finisher of our faith. You're our strength today. You're our peace today. You, whatever we need you to be today, oh God, you are healer today. Oh, you are protector today, oh God. Oh God, we need you today, oh God. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh Lord. Yes, oh Lord. Yes, oh Lord. Yes, oh God. We look to you today. We look to the hills today. We know that our help comes from you. We know that our help comes from you. We need you right now, God. We need you right now, God. We need you right now, God, in our lives, in our circumstances. We need you right now, God. Hallelujah. 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 We lift you up. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify you, God. We love you today, oh God. We love you today, oh God. Yes, Lord. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you, God. We adore you, God. We are not ashamed of you today, but we adore you. We shout the name of Jesus on the mountaintop. We shout his name in the valley. Whatever state that we're in today, we give him praise. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, Lord, my God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We praise you, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Yes, his anointing is in this place. His anointing is in this place right now. His anointing is right in your house, in your living room, in your bedroom, right wherever you are right now. His anointing is there right now for you, for you, and you, and you. Lift your hands right where you are. Lift your hands in your living room. Lift your hands in your bedroom. Lift your hands in your car, wherever you're listening right now, under the sound of my voice. Lift your hand and give him praise. Lift your hand and give him the glory. Give him the honor. He's still good. He's still 
Ghost sits on the throne. You are on his heart. The words that we are written in the palm of his hand. Right now, we are in the palm of the hand of God. And no man can pluck us out. Give them praise right now. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, give them praise. 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 Give them praise right now. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. I honor you today as the head of my life. We, you, you can clap your hands. Yes. I give him honor today as the bishop of my soul, the author and the finisher of my faith, the maker of heaven and earth, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I honor you today. I would like to give honor to Bishop Bradshaw, the angel of this house, and his lovely wife, Pastor Nicole. Oh, you can put your hands together. We honor them today. We honor them today. Yes, Lord. I give honor to all of Faith Zone. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I honor you today. I give you, I send nothing but love and affection, prayers, strength to Faith Zone. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I give honor today to my lovely wife, Lady Cherry that's with me today. She's truly my ride or die. I want you to know it. My ride or die. I give honor to my children, my sons and their actions, my daughters who are here with us today. I give honor to you. And I love you. And I love you. Well, we thank God for the word today. Uh, and one thing about me and one thing that I'm taught, that I've been taught down through the years, is that we only say what God gives us to say. After I say what he gives me to say, anything after that, that's me. That's flesh. And Bishop ain't having nobody operating in the flesh. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> so I promise to give you what the Lord has given me for the house. Amen. 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 So if you will, let's not tarry any longer. If you will, let's go to Matthew chapter 21. I'm going to go with Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 through 3. And then we're going to skip to verses 6 through 11. When you have it, say amen. 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 And the word of the Lord reads, And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethage, unto the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus sent two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied up, and a colt with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye say, ye shall say, the Lord has need of them, and straightway he will send them. Verse 6. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass, or the donkey, and the colt, and put on them their clothes. And they set him on them, that being Jesus. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from trees and straw them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, 
the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. If you will, please bow your head. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for how your word will fall on the good ground of the heart of your people. That your word will go out and it will not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish every task for which it was set out to accomplish. Right now we bind any type of distractions, anything that will come to try to steal the word from your people. We come against it right now and we thank you now for clarity. We thank you for understanding. We thank you that the ears of your people are open, that they may hear what the Spirit is saying unto them. Father, hide flesh behind the cross. Hide me behind the cross. You be magnified today. Speak through me. I'm your vessel for this hour. And I thank you. And I count it an honor and a great joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You may have your seat. You may take your seats. Praise the Lord. So if I, if I have to use a, a topic for today, a title for today's message that the Lord has given me, it would simply be, please, Lord, sit on me. Please, Lord, sit on me. Sit on me. And so the passage of scripture that we just read it talks about the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Into Jerusalem. You know, Jerusalem and the people of that day was looking for a king. They were looking for a king because they were under oppression at that time. Oppression from the Romans. And so they had been praying for a savior. They had been praying for a king to come and deliver them from the hands of their oppressors. And so they looked at Jesus. When Jesus came on the scene, he came performing miracles, signs, wonders, delivering his people. And so it was no doubt that he was a man of God. He was a prophet of God. He was, a per he was one that was sent to the people to deliver the people. But during that time, they were looking for someone to set up a government, yeah. an earthly government. Oh, yeah. And so they thought that that would be Jesus. The but the deliverance that came, yeah. mm -hmm. it was in the spirit. He didn't come to set up a government. The word of God said that the government was upon his shoulders. Oh, yeah. And so Jesus comes and the word says that he told his disciples. He said, I want you to do something. I want you to go into the neighboring village and I want you to go and see, you're gonna come across a donkey and her colt, which is a younger donkey, a baby donkey. You understand what I'm saying? He said, they're gonna be tied up. But what I want you to do, disciples, is I want you to loose them. I want you to loose them and bring them to me. Then he said, if anybody say anything to you, just tell them the Lord has need of them. The Lord has need of them. And so the disciples went straight and they did exactly what Jesus said. They came into the, they came into the town, they saw the donkey, and they loosed them, brought the donkey to Jesus, both of them, both of them. And when they brought him to Jesus, they began to put clothes on the donkey. They began to put stuff on the donkey, and then they sat Jesus upon them, upon them both. And they began to come into the city amidst praise, admiration from the people. He was coming into Jerusalem triumphantly riding these two donkeys, the adult and the child donkey. Come on now. And under great victory. But I want to point out some key points from what the Lord began to show me. The first thing he did, Jesus, was he sent his disciples. I want you to know that we're living in a day where Jesus, where God is calling upon those who believe in him. 
Those who walk the walk. Those who are called his disciples. He is sending us forth into the vineyard to accomplish a work. Come on now. He's sending us. The, the word of God says, bless are the feet of they that come in the name of the Lord. I want you to know that the disciples, they went into that neighboring city, that neighboring town in the name of Jesus. He sent them. In other words, he endorsed them. In other words, he gave them the ability. He gave them the power. He gave them the wisdom. He gave them the knowledge to go and do what he had called them to do. The word of the Lord said that he sent them. He sent his disciples. Now I want you to know something. I understand today that we are living in the time of COVID. Can I talk about this thing a little bit? I understand we have to take precautions. I understand we have to socially distance. We have to put on the mask. We have to make sure that we are safe and sound. But I also want you to know that that word still has gone out. He is sending us to the vineyard to do a work. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on my mask, but I'm going to go. I'm going to socially distance, but I'm going to go. I'm not going to let COVID stop me from going because I have been sent. One of the greatest tricks of the enemy today is to say he, he wants us to be fearful. He wants to walk. He wants us to walk in fear. I can't go over there. You know, we got COVID out here. I can't do this. We got COVID out here. Well, let me tell you something. A thousand may fall at our, right, at our left side, 10,000 our right, but it shall not come nigh to us. All we got to do as the people of God is use wisdom. Yeah, I'm going to put on my mask. Yeah, I'm going to socially distance, but I'm going to go. He still sent us. He sent his disciples to go and do a work. Come on now. We're not going to let anything stop us from going into the hedges and the highways and compelling men, women, boys and girls to come. We got to go, y'all. We got to go in the midst of the fire. We got to go in the midst of the flood. We got to go in the midst of pestilence. We got to go. We got to work to do. Our father is saying, go. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, so he sent his disciples. All right? He sent them. And I'm so glad that he can send anybody. I'm so glad he can send anybody. It's not only restricted to the preachers. Somebody said, well, that's the job of the preachers, you know. They're the ones who's supposed to do this. They're the ones who's supposed to do that. No, it's not just us. Everybody have a role to play. Everybody got a position to play. There's a role for me to play, and there's one for you to play. Even the lay members, even the children. Come on. He called the young because they're strong. The old because they know the way. We all have something to do in this thing. We all have a role. All hands must be on deck. All hands must be on deck. So you don't have to be a part of the fivefold ministry to go. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a minister. All you have to do is be a believer in the most high God. And when he speaks to you, go. Yes. So he sent. The second thing he did was he sent them to go get a donkey and a coat. He sent them to go get a seasoned donkey. Then he went, then he said, but not just the season donkey. I want you to get the coat too. One that nobody has ever sat on. <laughs> One that hasn't been badgered with the winds of life. One that is innocent. One who don't know no better. But they're just learning. You understand what I'm saying? See, sometimes, man of God, he calls the young. Because they don't know no better. They just have faith. 
You know, when the preacher say go, when the preacher say God said, they just young enough. They young enough to believe it. Woo! Thank you, Holy Ghost. They young enough to believe it. They don't think about the cares of this life. They don't think about the storms and the winds. Matter of fact, they don't care. All they focus on is what God said. And they do it. Yes, he's calling the young people to rise up in this last hour. Because he know that they ain't scared. They crazy enough to just say, I'm going to do what God said do. God told me to do that. He told me to run through troop and leap over walls. Well, I must can do it. I must can do it. If he told me to do it, I must can do it. Therefore, I'm going to do it. He called the seasoned donkey. And the cold. You understand? And the cold. He said, I'm going to sit on both of them. <laughs> you see, you see, see, we need wisdom too. We need wisdom on how to do. Come on, it works together. Just like the wheat grows along with the tear, you need the seasoned and you need the not so seasoned. You need both because the not so seasoned brings the zeal, the strength. The will, the fortitude to do whatever God say do. Yes, he called both of them. Yes, he did. The third thing he did was he told his disciples to loose them. Loose them. Let me ask you a question. What is binding you today? What is it? Is it fear? Be loose. Is it drugs and alcohol? Be loose. Is it insecurity? Be loose. What is it today that have you bound up? Jesus is calling you. He's calling for you. But for some reason, you are tied up. You're tied up. But guess what? Today is your day to be loosed, to be set free, to be made whole. Today is your day. Oh, yes, it is. Today is your day to be loosed. Come on now. What is it that's binding you? Is it finances? God will give you a miracle. He'll give you a financial blessing. Is it sickness? He will strengthen your health. He will heal you. What is it? Is it fear? He doesn't give you the spirit of fear. He gives you power, love, and a sound mind. What is it? What is it? Be loose today. Yes, there's a clarion call today in the land for all of his people that are tied up. Come on. Think about this thing now. Think about it. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. What's plaguing you today? What is ailing you today? You know what it is. You know what it is. It's that very thing right there that Jesus is going to loose you from. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Woo! And he's going to lose you for a purpose. There's a purpose in you being free. There's a purpose in you having a sound mind. There's a purpose in you having the finances that you need. There's a purpose in you having peace. There's a purpose in your relationship with Christ. There is a purpose because you're going to be like those disciples. He needs you to go and lose somebody else. Yes, he do. Oh, yes, he do. So he told them, I want you to loose them and bring them to me and bring them to me. And then let me tell you how good God is. Any of the stumbling blocks, any of the things that try to stop the will of God from going forth in your life and in the life of the church, he will speak to it. He will run interference. He will block it from stopping you of your destiny. Yes, he will. He'll block it. He said, if anybody say anything to you, tell them the Lord has need of them. So I want you to know that every opposition that you face, every naysayer, every challenge that's before you, 
every wall of Jericho that's before you. When the Lord sent his disciples and they say, loose him. If anybody say anything about it, if anybody has anything negative to say, he's just simply say, the Lord has need of you. He's going to run in the fence. He's not going to suffer you to be stopped. He's not going to suffer you to be blocked. He's not going to suffer it. But he's going to pave the way for you to do what he asks you to do. <laughs> if it's a wall, you have the ability to speak to that wall and make it fall. If it's a mountain, you can speak to that mountain and it'll be removed and cast itself in the sea. Oh, yes, it will. So he not only gives you the call, but he gives you the provision. He gives you the protection. Nobody's going to stop you. Don't worry about it. Just let him, just tell him the Lord has need of you. Yes. 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 God will prevent the enemy from blocking us from our assignment. He'll prevent the enemy from blocking us. Yes, he will. Because his work will go forth. It will go forth. Yes. And so finally, when they brought the donkey uh -huh, uh -huh. and the colt to Jesus, uh -huh. they threw clothes on them. Oh All right. And they sat Jesus upon them. Mm -hmm. They sat him upon them. And he rode them. Mm -hmm. He's riding us oh, yes. to triumphant victory. Yes, Come on, speak, sir. Yes. Yeah. He's riding us. Let me tell you, even our Lord and Savior is not selfish where he would just go in there and just do it all by himself. He can do it. But he loves us so much, he want to give us the first row seat to the victory. He wants to give us a first row seat. In fact, he wants to take his seat on us. And he wants us to be right there with him when he rides in and take authority take victory, take dominion over anything that has plagued his people. He gives us a front row seat, but something happens when he sit on us. I want you to know, man of God, bishop, bishop and pastor, that something happens when he sits on us. When he sits on us, the anointing rests on us. His anointing rests on us for the task. When he sits on us, his grace sits on us. His grace fills us. The grace in the form of mercy and in the form of ability. What you can't do in the natural, he will give you the ability, the grace to do it in the spirit. His grace sits on us. When he sits on us, his courage, his strength rest on us. Rest on us. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. In other words, we ain't scared to do what God has called us to do. He gives us courage. He often told the prophets of old, he said, take courage. I'm with you. Oh, yes, because he's sitting on us. Yes, when he sits on us, his blessings sit on us. Whatever we need, they sit on us. His provision sits on us. When he sits on us, his healing sits on us. It saturates our mortal bodies. It saturates our body. We're healed. We're strong. When he sits on us, our minds are regulated. We walk in peace. Yes, he do. We walk in peace. When he sits on us, his favor sits on us. Wherever we go, wherever we step, he gives it to us because we are his people. He gives, it, he gives us favor. Somebody say, Lord, please sit on me. Please sit on me. Right there, under the sound of my voice. Yes. Tell the Lord to sit on you. Say, please, Lord, sit on me. Because something happens when he sits on us. Something happens when he sits on us. We're not the same. We're not the same when he sits on us. Oh, my, 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 my. A change take place. It's like a, it's like a chain reaction. 
It's like a chain reaction. And the act of him sitting on us is for a purpose. It's not just for us to, to harbor it for ourselves. But we got to go after his people. We have to go after those who don't know him as a saving father. One of the trick of the enemy in, in this time is to get us to withdraw. He wants the church to withdraw. In other words, retreat. But we're not going to retreat even in this time. There's still a work that has to be done. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Fear not. For the Lord is with you. The word of God still says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. I appreciate social media. It has its usefulness. It does. It allows us to reach the masses more than what's inside the house. But we still got to come together. We still got to come together. When we going to come together? Don't be fooled by the enemy. Just take precaution. Wear your mask. Socially distant. Right? You know, make sure, you know, you're eating healthy. You're doing what you can do to take your meds so you can be healthy. Just take precaution and continue to do the work of the Lord. I made up in my mind. I'm not going to let nothing stop me from doing the work of the God. I'm not going to be deceived. Right? I'm not going to be deceived. Things been going on in this world before we were born. But the work never stopped. Persecution arose, but the work didn't stop. Sickness and plagues have hit this land, this world, before. This ain't the first time, but the work never stops. Don't you give up on God. He's calling you. He's sending his disciples for you. And he's turning around and he's saying, I need you to go. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. We all have a role to play. Everybody's role is not behind the pulpit. But some folks' roles is in the street. Some is in the prisons. Some is in the nursing homes. Yes, some is in the hospital. Yep, sure enough. We're not going to leave our brothers and sisters behind. Because we're fearful. Am I right? Yes, we're not going to leave them behind. They need us. That's right. <laughs> we're not going to be deceived. Praise the Lord. And so you under the sound of my voice. If you're ready to move forward, I want you to stand to your feet. I want you to stand to your feet. If you're ready to walk in that power, that confidence, as we obey the laws of the land, by following the rules of social distancing and those things, as we do that, we're still going to go forward. Come on. Let's, I'm talking to you in understanding right now. Yes, 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 yes. Because so many folks, there's so much fear-mongering. So much fear mongering. But let me reason with you today, brethren, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sisters, oh, yes. young people. On, we still got to continue to live. Oh. And we still have to do the work of the Lord. Oh, yes. Follow the rules, but do the work of the Lord. Be careful, but do the work of the Lord. Listen, listen. If you will, bow your heads right now. Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you for your people. I thank you for your word today. 
I thank you for how it went down into our hearts and even to our mind to give us good understanding. Thank you, Father. Thank you for letting us hear this word and giving us instructions on how we ought to govern ourselves, even in the midst of what's happening in the earth today. Yes, God. Thank you for giving us the courage, the intestinal fortitude to rise up in the midst of turmoil and walk out your word. Do what you call us to do because we won't leave nobody behind. Come on now. Thank you, Father. If you're fearful, Father, if, we're, if you're fearful, we rebuke the spirit of fear from over you now. We, we rebuke the spirit of fear. No, no. He's with us. He's with us. Father, thank you for giving provision, understanding, grace, ability to do your work. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you're going ahead of us. That you're going to make every crooked place straight. Yes, God. For you're the great pioneer. Thank you, Father. And we give your name the praise. For those who are sick, touch them now. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, touch them now. Be healed, for the Lord has need of you. Your healing is coming for the, for the work. It's not for you to just sit on the sideline but he said he's going to heal you for you to get up and join the fight oh, yes. yes hallelujah thank you Jesus we give your name the praise we give your name the glory and all the honor in Jesus name we pray everyone say amen Praise the Lord. Stay up and do the uh, yeah. communion. I'll be with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. All right. So at this time, oh, he's in this place. Oh, he's right there where you are. I sense a move of God right there in your living room. I sense it right there in your home, right wherever you are. But most importantly, I sense it in your heart. I sense it in your heart that he's moving on your heart. He's moving on your mind right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At this time, if you will, go ahead and grab your cracker, a piece of bread. Yes and, and uh, something that you can participate in the Lord's Supper with us. We're going to sanctify and consecrate it in the name of Jesus as we prepare to participate in the Lord's Supper. Yes. You want, me to read, you want me to read the scripture? Uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. If you will, please turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Yes, thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we consecrate the sacrament, Father, we ask right now, God, that you will bless the cracker, the, the bread, the juice that represents the blood. And God, we declare right now 
on the night that Jesus was betrayed. Yes. He took the bread. Yes. Broke it and gave thanks and said, this is my body, which is given to you. And often as you come together, eat in remembrance of me. Let us eat. And after the breaking of the bread, he took the cup and said, this represents my new covenant. Yes. The blood. As often as you come together, yes. drink in remembrance of me. Let us drink. And as we eat the bread and drink of the, 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 the wine, we remember the Lord's death until yes. he returns. Come on, just say with me, our Father, our Father which art in heaven, John, hallowed be thy name, be thy, thy name, kingdom thy come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day, day our, our daily bread, bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from evil. For, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Come Amen. on, come on, let's just give Amen. God some praise. Come on, let's give God some praise. Amen. Did, did you enjoy this man of God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Lord, sit on me. <laughs> Please, Lord, sit on me. Please, Lord, sit on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm going to give the mic to him. For him to dismiss us, I want you to enjoy your day. Yes. Know that God loves you and we love you too. Till yes. next time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Ain't the Lord good? Yes. All right. We're going to move to be dismissed at this time. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.